MCU fans, it may have felt like a long buildup before Thanos began his crusade to obtain the six Infinity Stones. However, the Mad Titan's patience paid off since he was able to defeat the Avengers and complete the Infinity Gauntlet during Avengers Infinity War. Thanos' timing was not random, but was instead chosen with great attention to detail. It is actually as if Thanos had been lurking in the shadows for years, just waiting for specific powerful MCU characters to disappear or die so that he would have fewer threats standing in his way when he finally made his move. As powerful as Thanos may be, there are several stronger characters in the MCU who would have defeated him had they still been alive during the events of Avengers Infinity War. Number 10 is the Supreme Intelligence. The Supreme Intelligence sits in control of the entire Kree Empire, controlling what goes on in its capital planet, Hala. It has a firm grip over each of its powerful Kree soldiers, who make up one of the most dangerous armies in the entire galaxy. Unfortunately for the Kree, and the entire galaxy, Captain Marvel destroyed the Supreme Intelligence after returning to Hala in the mid-1990s. Not only did her actions virtually doom the inhabitants of Hala until she fixed things, but they also left the galaxy with one less defender when Thanos came around. Number 9 is Quicksilver, since his super speed would have turned the tide. Quicksilver didn't last long in the MCU, but was briefly a member of the Avengers during the Battle of Sokovia, using his super speed to fight Ultron and his sentries. While we never got to see Quicksilver at full power, Super Speed is one of the best abilities a hero can have when facing an enemy like Thanos. With enough training, Quicksilver would have been more than capable of defeating Thanos when he finally arrived. Unfortunately for the Avengers, Quicksilver sacrificed his life in Age of Ultron. Without a speedster to keep superpowered threats at bay, the Avengers were missing a key ally in the fight against Thanos. Number 8 is Odin embodying the full might of Asgard. Marvel borrows from North mythology in the Thor franchise, including the Allfather, Odin who is the powerful ruler of the Nine Realms who has sworn to protect every kingdom under his rule. With Odin still ruling Asgard, Thanos would have easily been stopped had he made a play for the Infinity Gauntlet. Odin himself had once sought the Infinity Gauntlet, and would therefore be attuned to any other individual attempting to follow in his footsteps. However, Odin was replaced by his son Loki in 2013, leaving the Nine Realms without a true protector. Odin's death in 2017 in Thor Ragnarok only made things worse, giving villains like Thanos free reign to pursue their interests. Number 7 is Bor, who proved to be even more powerful than his son Odin. Bor is not very significant in the events of the MCU, but did make an important appearance in Thor The Dark World's prologue scenes. Bor was Odin's father and the ruler of Asgard once. Much like his son, Bor and his army had more than enough power to fight off cosmic threats like Thanos. Bor died centuries before Thanos' conquest. Unfortunately for the one-time king of Asgard, each generation that followed him grew weaker and weaker in their rule over the Nine Realms. While Odin managed to keep his father's kingdom together, the three children were largely responsible for Asgard's fall, leaving the universe vulnerable to Thanos' attack. Number 6 is Hela, who decimated Asgard while wielding the power of Hell. Hela's power is tied directly to Asgard, making her one of the strongest characters in the MCU. Ruling over Death and Hell, she would have been a major threat to Thanos in his crusade had she still been around during the events of Infinity War. Fortunately for Thanos, Hela was ended in the war for Asgard. In order to defeat her, Thor, Loki, and their allies were forced to bring about Ragnarok, the destruction of Asgard. In doing so, they eliminated one of the last major obstacles in Thanos' way. With Hela and Asgard gone, there was one less power-hungry threat competing with the Mad Titan's plans, and he struck immediately after the destruction of both. Number 5 is the Ancient One, who possessed decades of valuable experience. The Ancient One was a powerful sorceress who made her first appearance in Doctor Strange. She was the experienced Sorcerer Supreme, who used dark magic to make her an even more formidable foe to anyone who threatened her realm. The Ancient One was killed in a battle with Kaecilius and the Disciples of Dormammu in 2016, leaving Doctor Strange to take her place as the Sorcerer Supreme. Although Strange is believed to be more powerful than her, he was far less experienced by the time Thanos arrived on Titan and Earth. Number 4 is Surtur, who helped bring about the destruction of Asgard. Surtur is a fire giant whose sole purpose is to destroy Asgard in Ragnarok. He is nearly unstoppable when large and at full power, and would be very difficult to defeat, even for Thanos and his armies. Although the MCU villain actually won in Thor Ragnarok, destroying Asgard and Hela, Surtur seems to have met his end when the planet exploded. His fate has never been confirmed, but his absence from the events of Infinity War clearly worked in Thanos' favor, allowing him an easier path to destroy half of all life in the universe. Number 3 is Dormammu, who ruled over the Dark Dimension. Dormammu was the ruler of the Dark Dimension, 
as a being of immense power, there are few mortal forces who can match him and emerge victorious. Without the completed Infinity Gauntlet, even Thanos himself would be no match for a cosmic entity of this scale. Dormammu and his henchmen were banished from the mortal realm by Doctor Strange. Had he still been in the mix, Dormammu wouldn't have liked Thanos' conquest which would have led him to Earth, a territory that the leader of the Dark Dimension wants for himself. Number 2 is Ultron, who was created to protect Earth from Thanos level threats. Ultron is a sentient AI invented by Tony Stark and Bruce Banner. During the events of Avengers Age of Ultron, Ultron sought to conquer the world, replacing organic life with metal. While he wanted to destroy humanity, Ultron was actually programmed to defend the Earth itself, and would have opposed Thanos had they ever come face to face. While Ultron may still exist in some form in the MCU, he certainly wasn't even close to full power when Thanos arrived, and wasn't involved, having been defeated by the Avengers in the Battle of Sokovia. Funny enough, Tony Stark later said that Thanos' attack was exactly the kind of thing he had invented Ultron to prevent. Had he not been corrupted, Ultron would have been humanity's greatest defender against the Mad Titan and his forces. Number 1 is Ego the Living Planet, who possessed enough power to destroy the universe. Ego was a celestial being and Peter Quill's father. A being of incredible power, Ego planned to destroy the universe and remake it in his own image. Therefore, Thanos' own plans wouldn't sit well with Ego, who would have opposed the Titan had their conquests overlapped. While Ego could have been a powerful enemy of Thanos, he was too pressing a threat in the universe to be left alive. The Guardians of the Galaxy were forced to kill Ego five years prior as they blew up the planet that housed his consciousness, saving the universe for the time being. That is all for the 10 MCU characters who would have beat Thanos if they were alive. Let me know what you think. If you stayed this long, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.